that ain't the dullest knife. I don't know what is. Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Man, I'm telling you, this is the knife. Look at it, it's still real nasty. Uh, this is the knife that I use during guide season to clean birds. Uh, different video coming at y'all today. I'll tell you, my wife Beth, <sighs> she uh, started sharing videos of our pet Mallard. Now, uh, I don't know where he's at at this moment. He's probably running the property. I don't know, being alpha over the chickens. He is crazy. He thinks he's became Fred. He thinks he's Fred, my dog, or Jax, or Sophie. Hi, Frederick, come here. He does. He thinks he's a dog. He literally lives with the dogs, and he's territorial. <laughs> oh, here he comes from the house, just marching down the grass. We'll be here in a minute, I guarantee it. The other day, it really opened my eyes. I was like, man, this mallard's getting crazy. The other day I was standing here and that mallard left the house and flew all the way down here at my feet waiting for me to feed him. And uh, since then, he will never leave any of us alone if you're outside. Uh, it's hilarious though. It's pretty cute and it's funny. Uh, we had mallard when uh, guide season was popping off. Mind you, boy howdy, I have a good video coming up. It's an update of the lodge and all the projects I got going on. Oh, here he comes. But during guide season, the clients thought he was pretty funny back then. Boy, howdy, with age, he has just gotten more courageous. Where are you going, dude? What are you doing? This is this is him. He, um, look, he's like, where are you going, dude? He'll peck at your feet. He, I don't know if it's territorial. Look, come on, Mallard, come here. Come here, Mallard. Look, Frederick, see? Correlation between the two. They're literally brothers. Watch, I'll start walking back here. He'll, he'll get after it. Come on, Mallard. If I stomp my feet, he'll come running at me. Oh, he gets mad. Oh, here he comes. Come on, dude. Come on. You want a box? Look, he's just pissed off. What are you doing? He gets mad. Look, he pecks me. Watch out, Mallard. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Whoop. Watch it now. Get out of here. Get out of here. So not only does he follow me everywhere like this. This is where I feed him. You can tell here's some of his corn that he's been munching on. It doesn't matter where I go. Stop biting, dude. He'll go in with me. Come on, Mallard. Come on. That's why I had to put, get these buckets with tops on them because him, he was coming in here, eating all my stuff, making a mess. It's still a mess, look. Look at all these nasty floors. That's all because of Mallard. Yeah. Not only is he crazy like that, but he sleeps in the garage now up at the house. He's got his own dog kennel and he goes in the back. I'm not kidding you, we'll do it at the end of this video, stick around. He's gotten crazy. When the dogs go in for bed, he goes in for bed. But what I've been feeding the pigeons, which y'all have been asking about the pigeon trapping. That's why I just went and bought a bunch of feed as well. We're gonna start our pigeon trapping as well as y'all have been asking about my pigeons. And this is their feed as well. I'm just pouring it all and mixing it all right now. Y'all have been asking to see the pigeons. I'll take you back there to see them in a minute, but back to what I was originally saying. My wife has been sharing videos of that crazy duck on her Instagram. And so I started doing it too, and people are just cracking up. He is funny. I, I don't, it's ironic too. You know, I'm a duck hunter and you know. That's some dust right there. Oh, that's gonna make me sneeze bad. Um, what we got going on is I've been using poultry scratch grain and poultry 18% all flock. Uh, they're like ground up little nugget stuff. Basically, it's this brown stuff in there. This right there, that's some 
grade A pigeon and chicken food right there. Speaking of which, we'll go ahead and go feed our pigeons. You guys have been asking to see them. But this mallard, look, here he comes, I bet. Watch, stomp the feet a little bit. He gets mad. He thinks I'm a big duck. His, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's mean, man. He's nice, but he wants to be alpha all the time. Get out of the way, dude. Jeez. Every time I try to feed pigeons, he ends up slipping in the doorway. Watch out, dude. Get back. Get back. Don't be going in there. Get back. Well, here we go. Hi, pigeons. How are you? You're going to like that stuff. Here's the pigeons. They're just doing pigeon stuff. Nothing new for them. What are you guys doing up there? Not a whole lot of going on. Not a whole lot new. Um, Y'all have been asking uh, if the pigeon trapping was actually going to fire up. And it is. It is. We're going to trap some. Um, I'm not going to, if I do trap them, if we do do it, I'm not going to keep them in my little loft here because old Jordan he had an issue with a bunch of them dying uh, because the feral ones I got dust all over me the feral ones ended up having a disease and it spread through the whole loft so I don't want to kill my pigeons due to feral ones being nasty oh well, look who was in here uh-huh telling you he's wild that is one wild duck right there just running the whole place i'm telling you freddy. heel heel freddy freddy rico freddy rico oh here comes crazy mallard oh boy howdy oh boy howdy oh boy howdy don't you bite dude don't do it crazy goodness I can't go back and forth from the house without him doing that like I said I'm kind of scared of him he's always lurking around somewhere I'm not kidding man he's gotten a little out of control that's why I thought it was time to make a video what are you doing you're not supposed to be in here Mallard and you stay out of my food go on get out of here I'm gonna shut it down for a minute and I'll, I'll prove to you guys uh he'll end up at the house here in a little bit and when i let the dogs in to go to go to bed he's right there he has his own kennel every day i lock him in the kennel every night lock him in the kennel next morning let him out with the dogs <laughs> well it's about 8 30 i'm getting the kids to bed just got out of the shower myself well hi there frederick and Solf and jacks like I said, this is the this is the duck uh, dog kennel. Come on, Soph, watch out. Go on, you're blind. We know. Go on. <laughs> Look, she snaps at me. Go on. Go on. But uh, yeah, this is where the ducks stay. <laughs> watch. Come on, ducks. Let's go, Mallard. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Mallard. Let's go to bed. Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Don't nip at me. Go on. That's where he wants to be. Look. Nope. Nope. I'll go get your brother. The chicken's got to be in there with him. Man, he just bit my toe. Dude, you better quit. I'm going to kick you. Hi, guys. What? Hi. You be careful, okay? Oh, this has been a nightly ritual. The last week, the kids get on the quad and they see if Mallard's going to chase them. And he does. Mallard is getting crazy. He's bossing everybody around. He's bossing Frederick around. He's bossing you around. He's bossing me around. 
He's bossing the kids around. He's done scared the kids. Yeah, um, really funny, Harper, the other night. Or the other day she was pulling Bodie in the wagon and he came up and was pecking her and she like was traumatized screaming, Mommy, help me! And yeah. the, the duck was just like pecking at her. And that night she was saying her prayers and she said, Jesus, please help me with the mallard and save me. <laughs> uh, it's getting a low. The mallard has gotten honestly insane. I, You guys got to let us know what to do next. I sh guess I shouldn't ask what we should do next. They should be in a pen and not running around the yard. We I have tried. Yeah, come so on. So bad. We spent a lot of time and money on the pen over there. Y'all were here. Y'all helped us build it. Uh, and a lot of you were right. A lot of them said in the comments, they're like, that flimsy fence isn't going to do it. That's what you get for letting me go to TSC by myself and buy that. I didn't let you go. You went. You didn't even say why you were going. This is true. Well, that's the only way, not the only way, but that's how we get things done around here. I got to start the project so that Bob feels bad for me and comes saves me and finishes it just like right now. Yeah. <laughs> but Mallard, here he is. This is his territory. Uh, midday, late day. He got some good shadow going on here. Some good shade. I'll be careful. He's a dangerous mallard, isn't he? He is. He's crazy. Oh, yeah. He don't look vicious at all. Usually, look, they're freaked out by him. All right, go, sis. You think he'll chase you? Nope. He don't care right now. See, it's, it comes and goes. In the morning when he hasn't seen me all night, he's real aggressive. And see, then, I didn't see it as aggressive. I never did until you were aggressive. like, he's getting pretty aggressive. He's real aggressive. I think it's the toes. Oh, God, he bites. See, I think he's saying hi. I don't think it's hi. I think it's a territory thing. I don't. It's definitely territory. Okay. Walk away. Test it. Walk away and see what he does. He chases me. Yeah. And he stays in front of me. And he and he stays dominant. That This is what this Here, is. Here, give me the camera. Guaranteed. It's dominant. It Look at him. I promise you it's dominant. We're trying to figure out why he's acting this way. Because for one, he's not hungry. We feed him a ton. Number two, I, for a while, I just thought it was me that he was doing it to. Well, it kind of was you. He's and now like, it's everybody. He never really did it to me unless I was wearing like sandals. See, and, and yeah, he likes the flesh. Flesh yeah. he'll go after. Legs so and like, feet. Maybe he like thinks it's food. That was my theory, and that he was just like kind of greeting you. No, but, it's definitely dominance. It's like territory. Yeah. This is territory, and you're in it. The only time I see him getting like dominant like that is if he like you walk away, and then he kind of stands up and like flops his wings yeah, and it, like claims his territory. It's all part of it. He, it's all part. I. That's what I truly believe. He's gotten comfortable in his territory, and now he's just dominant as heck because. I feed him. I feed him all the time. So y'all got to help us out. What is it? What do we need to do? Obviously, we need to get him in the pen. We're going to go get some steaks and stake down the bottom of that fence and try to keep him in there. I doubt that we can actually keep him in there forever yeah. with that fence. It's not a hard fence. Uh, but drop a comment down below. A lot of you guys have farm animals. A lot of you guys have pecking ducks, half mallard ducks, whatever. Drop a comment down below if you guys have this issue because he hasn't only scared us all, he scared the kids, he scared the kids, and then he just bugs us because it hurts when he pecks, but he has ran off some mailmen. I'm not kidding, the mailman, the UPS guy, yeah, after his feet and they get back in their truck. Who needs a guard dog when you have a mallard? He is a guard dog. Seriously, yeah. I don't know, help us out, let us know. I just think it's really funny and I thought you guys would think it was pretty darn entertaining your, yourself because whenever she puts something or I put something on Instagram of Mallard going crazy, y'all seem to love it. So I think he's just being loving. Think he's being loving? I do. I don't know about that. I think you're just, you're a loving soul that don't know any better. No. It's nature, honey. It's nature. He's a lover, not a fighter. He's not a lover. <laughs> He is. He is a fighter. In nature, everything's a fighter. Yeah, but I think he doesn't have his like life partner anymore. So maybe not could be. searching for that companion. Well, and, and like so when the dog went on a rampage back here, his partner 
got vominosed. And we've said that we need to get him another doctor. Is it because he doesn't have a partner now? I know. That's my that's my theory. It could and he be. Like, He's got the chickens. Because it used to be just Bodie. Well, he follows Lenny around all but the time. But he still is dominant. He's dominant over them chickens. No? I don't think well, so. Well, he tries to be dominant over us humans. <laughs> oh. oh, Mallard. You just do whatever you want, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Go do whatever you want. This is Preston's trailer anyways. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you headed? You're going to go out that door now. Okay. We'll see ya. Oh, I caught the little booger. You know how to catch him? The way to catch him, you make him mad, and I think I said it earlier in this video, you stomp your feet. Because every time he comes running, that's what he's doing, he's slapping his feet on the ground. You can just hear it going pop, 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 pop. And he's mad, he's mad. So every time I wanna pick him up, or want him to come, I'll do that, and he gets mad. It's an aggression thing. It's a dominance thing, because that's how I just caught him. He was literally underneath that trailer, I went. He came out madder than a goat. Look at him. He doesn't try to peck you though now. Like, hold on, Mallard. They got a He's a little. On get his feather off of him. Clean him up. He's a good Mallard. He's just getting he's wild. Sweet. I just love him. I think he's. Oh, he's Mallard. Nice. If I you just bite think he my. Likes to eat. You feed him, so he's like. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, I don't know. If he bite, keeps biting my toes, we're going to have a problem. I don't want to walk. In the middle of the night, I come outside, he's biting my toes. Daddy. Well, that's the next day. If you guys haven't dropped a comment down below and let us know what in the heck's going on with this duck, please do so. Stepping out first time this morning. Let's see what Mallard's up to. I'm sure that he'll hear me or see me and come running up. Um, there's been a couple of times now when I head out to the shop back here. Uh, that darn duck will take off up here like I told you and fly all the way to that door. Right when he lands, he's pecking at my feet. I don't know. I think it's a dominance thing, personally. I think he's being territorial, and uh, it hurts. <laughs> Especially if you're in sandals. So any of my guests that come, you know, starts pecking at him, they're going, ow, ow, ow! Especially the women, you know, it hurts their feet, and the kids. The kids don't know what to think about it. So, let me know. Well, kind of worried, not going to lie. I don't know where Mallard is, or the chickens. I can't find them. This is a first. I have no idea where they're at. They're usually literally right here. Uh, and this is where I throw all their food. Oh, I really, really hope that another coyote didn't come in last night. Fred, why don't you go... Look for Mallard and see if you can find him. Go on. You don't want to. Maybe Fred knows something. What's up, dude? Where's the birds at? But I'm going to get to looking around. Uh, oh, I'm hoping it's nothing bad. Uh, yeah, the pet Mallard has gotten crazy though, right? Um, don't know what to do with him. <laughs> I need to keep him in a pen. Hopefully I find him here. And we can start keeping them in a pen, but the pen we built just ain't working. We tried to put it in, put them in there last night and make some adjustments to the pen, but he won't stay in and he's pooping everywhere. Literally everywhere, over, all over the sidewalk, all over the driveway. It's really becoming an issue. I was, I'm actually thinking about buying like a herd of mallards I found somewhere online. Uh, you guys got to drop a comment let me know about that as well. If you want to see me buy a ton of mallards, I think it'd be funny and we'd, definitely have to buy a legit pen you know but i'm gonna get looking for the duck here hopefully i find him hopefully you guys have a great day and um enjoy the weekend to come happy mother's day uh, i think the next video will go up sunday so so before we get there i want to go ahead and give all the mothers out there a big old happy mother's day don't forget boys it's mother's day weekend coming up you gotta prepare but until next time I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.